not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff so you get a video I put them out so you don't see I'm analyzing that data. Listen, we all know what went down with FTX. We all know that they have not really destroyed the crypto market. Destroyed the crypto market. But here's what's happening. The banks are coming in to save us. They have put on their, their Superman cape and they're coming in to save us. JP Morgan, not JP Morgan, excuse me, Goldman Sachs <laughs> has decided to invest tens of millions of dollars in, crypt, in a crypto platform. They supposedly are investigating all the available platforms that are currently out there. They are doing their DD, and they said they are going to open a platform that's going to be more trustworthy that retail investors can go to and feel safe, okay? The banks that have been fined billions and billions of dollars for violating the laws over the past 20 years want to come in and control the crypto market so they can rob retail investors. The purpose of them trying to give the impression of creating a more trustworthy crypto platform is absolutely outrageous based on their track record. We know they do not follow the law. We know that they've been fined multiple times for billions of dollars over the last 20 years because they don't follow the law. They don't follow the rules. So for them to think that we are good, well, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell crypto with any of Goldman Sachs banks or any any platform that Goldman Sachs ends up investing in. I'm just telling you this. Based on their track record, based on their track re record of billions in fines over the last 20 years, how can they be trusted to run any type of crypto platform with any confidence? I do not have any confidence in them whatsoever to run any crypto platform. And I, and I believe, personally, this is just another way for them to have another vehicle to rob retail investors and pension funds. At this point, the whole system needs to be broken down and rebuilt. In no other industry could you have billions of dollars in fines and still be able to maintain your license. It only works in the banking and securities industries where you can be fined and fined and fined and fined. And the next day, you're still trading like nothing happened. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe on all the YouTube algorithms. And tell me what you think about Goldman Sachs trying to enter the crypto market. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.